Okay. Um, so we're going to go through the, I guess you'd call it the external procedure of artificially inseminating a, a cow. Um, I can't teach you how to do this standing here on a video. You have to have formal training in, in the procedure. Uh, maybe what, what this would be useful for though is if someone has been through a, a AI training school and you maybe just want to refresh yourself because there are some things that over time, you know, people get sloppy or careless sometimes with things. So one of the, uh, I guess the place we'll start here is we're going to thaw some semen. We're going to take it to the cow in a correct fashion and, and, and insert it in the cow and, and I will complete the procedure inside the cow. Um, the problem, I guess, or the challenge to artificial insemination in, in cows and, and even other ruminants is the shape of the cervix. So we have to go in through the rectum with our left hand so that we can actually manipulate the cervix with our left hand while putting the insemination gun through the vagina and up and, up and eventually through the cervix. It doesn't open up. It's not like some species where the cervix just opens up and you can just go straight in there. So that's kind of the challenge with AI is, and that's why it takes some substantial training to learn how to do that and, and as well as some practice once you get out. But anyway, to, to review, let's just talk about uh, semen handling. You can be the best AI technician in the world and if you're not handling semen correctly, you can damage the semen or sometimes even render it totally, totally sterile or useless. So uh, the semen is stored in liquid nitrogen um, in, in canisters and the objective is to get this semen from the liquid nitrogen into the thaw water. It has to stay in this thaw water between 94 and 98 degrees for a minimum of 30 seconds up to as long as 15 minutes. So here's a, a thaw deal. It's got lights, you plug it in, it's got lights that will tell you if it's, if it's red, it's not ready. If it's green, it's, it's ready to go. I've preheated this water. They also come with a card that tells you what the temperature is. You can see this water's right around 96 degrees right now. So that's perfect. You see this, this safe zone is where we want to work. It, it, it lights up. Here, let me, let me redo it. Maybe it got too cool for me. I think it did. It's back down to 94. I'll be right back. <laughs> so these thaw units, they have a lid on them. We want to keep that lid open when we go take the semen to it, but I'll talk about that. They also have lights. Green is ready. Red is not ready. They have a thermostat in here. That you always want to make sure your thermostat's working, which is why they always include a card with this, so you can constantly check your temperature, make sure your lights are telling you the truth. So we want this water somewhere between 94 and 98 degrees. Uh, right now, it's about between 98 and 96. You can see this green, green zone here. The card lights up and tells you what the temperature is, okay? All right. So let's talk about how to get semen correctly out of the tank and into the cow. Um, this stuff comes in, in canisters and uh, each, each canister has what we call a cane. The cane will have the bull's identification number on top. This, this tank has a frost line right here. You never want to bring, bring this canister up above that frost line. So it's going to be maybe a little bit difficult to see what I'm doing here because I have to work down here in the tank. The first thing I do when I'm working with a new canister is I'll flip that up, get that metal thing out of the way, and any time you you're feel like you maybe stayed up too long, just lower that canister back down in there for a few minutes. I want to make sure that the lid is up on my thaw water. I want to get it from this environment to that environment as quickly as possible. So I'll pull it up here, stay above the frost line. I'll use these tweezers, grab one straw. I have my straw, I drop this back down immediately before I come up, I go straight to my thaw water. I can put that back over there. Okay. And we want to leave our, while we're, while we're getting this uh, dose of straw of semen thawed out, we can get ready to breed the cow. So I always like to have me some paper towel so I can clean the cow off and whatever else I need to do. So always take me some paper towel and put it in my pocket. I've got my glove here. And so I'm gonna go in, as soon as I get my, my gun loaded, 
my insemination gun loaded, I'll, I'll sleeve up.